Arena Fight fans, we are live! Some breaking news. Sam Kerr is joining Chelsea on a two and a half year deal. Wow, that's what it's all about. Rise at his own schedule to see upcoming fights or catch up on recent events. Never miss a punch by setting reminders that alert you on your mobile device. I am here with the main event, Jay Swingler. How are you feeling? Absolutely fantastic. Oh, 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 That's where he catches this, and look at his body positioning, and he has to pull that back around under his feet. Navigate fight night, key moments, replay the rounds of the action, you want to see it again and again. And to the water for the final time. He's won the race to go along with the championship. Absolutely magnificent. What a strike that is. Hello and a very warm welcome men to Catalonia as we bring you continuing coverage of Liga FA. It is match day 27 and is today the day that Barcelona are officially crowned champions as they host relegation threatened sporting club Huelva. Just coming up to 4pm local time, a sunny Sunday in Spain, 23 degrees Celsius, 73 Fahrenheit. And after 25 consecutive Liga FA wins this season, Barcelona will be crowned champions for a fourth straight year if they can make it 26. Game faces off for this one. 
that has all been building to this moment. They're taking on a Huelva side who need the points for completely different reasons. The visitors are just one point above the drop zone and they are in real danger of being relegated this season. But you have to say, if they get anything from this match here this afternoon, then it is an unexpected bonus. The crowd expectant. Well, Barcelona have secured their place in the UEFA Women's Champions League final this week for the fourth time in five seasons. Today, they can be crowned Spanish champions for the fourth time in four seasons. It's a case of when, not if, they lift the title. Barring a huge shock, today will be the day. Huelva have been in the top flight for 16 years. That status is under real threat. They will still have three more matches after this one to try and guarantee top flight football next season. They have blown away everyone who has stood in their way so far this season. Barcelona closing in on what would be an eighth Spanish title. Well, how about this for squad rotation? A full 11 changes for Jonathan Giraldez. He's named a completely different lineup from that which started the UEFA Women's Champions League semi final second leg against Chelsea, including only a third appearance of the season for goalkeeper Catalina Kohl. You'll note after 10 months out, Alexia Pateas is named amongst the substitutes. Alicia Espinosa Rios is in charge for this one. Adiapina named as a captain for. Barcelona this afternoon. Let's take a look at the visitors' lineup. And then four changes from the side which started the defeat against Madrid Club de Football last time out. They too have made a change in goal with Zala Mersnik replacing Chelsea Ashurst. Once again. Back in the match day squad. Well, the Estadi Johan Cruyff expects the atmosphere is electric. It will be Barcelona, the champions elect, who will get proceedings underway in the first half, attacking the goal away to our right hand side in their familiar colours. Huelva the visitors in the familiar blue and white attacking the goal away to our left. 
Barcelona's last home league defeat was more than four years ago. It was Huelva who secured the victory that day. It would be a huge turn up for the books if they were able to repeat that here this afternoon. Barcelona have been playing free-flowing football throughout most of this campaign. They are in the sunshine, they are at home, there is a full crowd, and that full crowd is expectant. They are expecting that Barcelona will be crowned champions at the end of the 90 minutes. Here is Ana Fernandez playing in the heart of defence alongside Laia Cadena. This one, Nuri Arabano in at left back. It is a full 11 changes for Jonathan Giraldez. This squad qualifying for the final in Eindhoven. Here is uh, Emma Ramirez back to Fernandez. Ramirez gets to take the ball with her. Pelva early on, not pressing, not pushing forward, happy to allow Barcelona to have possession, getting numbers back behind the ball, trying to be disciplined and organised. See they're playing a back five, trying to make it very tight, very compact for Barcelona. Here is Claudia Pina captaining the side. Ayuelo. Helps it on its way. Pina wins the throw. Arruelo laying it off. Claudia Pina looking to try and get the ball into the danger zone. There's a chance for Anna Marie Sinagorcevic. Kept alive by Ramirez. Fernandez. Ramirez once again. Shooting opportunity for Villamela. Can't quite pull the trigger. That's going to be a free kick to Huelva. Well, once this one is in the bag, all eyes will turn to the Champions League final for Jonathan Corraldez, the 31-year-old appointed in the summer of 2021, just approaching the two-year mark. Now, was that a push? Well, I thought they were in behind. The referee waving away the protests. Mirova, the leading scorer for Huelva this season. She's only found the net three times. Space in behind. Sinagorcevic. Villamela just held up. Ramirez picks it up, tries to get the ball in. The pattern for this match has been set early on, you sense. Barcelona with the ball, seeing a lot of possession deep inside Huelva ter territory. Ramirez with the chance across. The visitors are going to have to concentrate. It's going to be so hard to maintain that focus throughout the course of 90 minutes. Carrasco has gone down. Antonio Toledo, 65 years old, a veteran of the club. Guided the club to their highest ever finish in the top flight. That was... Eighth place, a solitary trophy was the Copa della Reina that they won in 2015. Fernandez. Codina. 
Urbano has Arihuelo out wide. Claudia Pina's made a run forward. Well, they're seeing a lot of ball and they're seeing a lot of it inside the visitors' territory. This is what they do. They pass it around with such ease and such confidence, just waiting for the moment to strike. Picked up by Parihuelo. Does she fancy a shot? in full force for this one this afternoon. It's lost a little bit of Ramirez, who was able to keep it in. And Maria Sinogorcevic, you've seen her down the right flank and the left flank in the opening six minutes. Casey leading the line for Barcelona. Sam Oshuala, the leading scorer, looking to settle for a place on the bench for this one. Ramirez, she's seen a lot of the ball in the opening exchanges. Her cross takes a deflection. Almost loses the ball, keeps it in. Here is Sinogorcevic, just tries to pull it back, looking for uh, Ramirez. Fernandez. Ramirez. Fernandez. Sinogorcevic puts the ball in, looking for JC. The uh, Brazilian can't get on the end of that one, but Guelva. Struggling to clear their lines. Barcelona come again. Parihuelo, cross takes a deflection into the gloves of Zala Mersnik. First touch for the keeper. Are those with the appeals a few moments ago. Mirova thought she was in behind, she thought she was fouled. Could have changed the complexion of this match. Ramirez once again. Fernandez. Crossed in from deep, looking for Villamela. Mersnick comes and collects. They are appealing for a foul. It looks like it was a head injury. She's back to her feet quickly. Sinogorcevic finds space this time. 
Kunamela trying to get on the end of it. You already get the sense that Cuelva are hanging on here. Barcelona haven't really created any clear-cut opportunities, but you sense it's only a matter of time. Look at the space that Ramirez is finding. Fernandez. Building patiently once again. Sinagorcevic with a chance to try and cross. Lays it back to Fernandez, does she? That takes a deflection. Goes the way of the visitors. really get a foothold in the match. Huelva expected it to be this way. Every time they get possession, a swarm of Barcelona shirts around them, unable to keep hold of the ball for more than a couple of passes. That was a foul in Ingrid Enyen. Sinagorcevic. Fernandez. Sligorcevic trying to feed it through. Well, he would have said, keep it tight, keep it compact. Try and quieten down the home crowd in the opening quarter of an hour or so. They've restricted Barcelona to a lot of the ball, but not any real clear-cut opportunities. Athena Coll, her third appearance of the season. 22 year old won the under 17s women's world cup with spain back in 2018 he's had to be patient for her opportunity this season playing behind sandra panios and Gemma font but she selected today for this one it could be an afternoon to remember Here's Fernandez. Ramirez, a little bit of space, being encouraged forward by Sinagorcevic. Crosses from deep, it's floated to the far post. Unconvincing keeping from Mershnik. Does just enough. Emma Ramirez, the 20-year-old, had a loan spell at Real Sociedad last year. Just her seventh appearance of the season. First corner of the match goes the way of Barcelona. The captain, Claudia Pina, to take. Mersnick with some convincing keeping this time. Yeah. 
to Nagorcevic. Enyen feeding it through. Can't quite create space for the shot. Kodina. Rabano. Ramirez. Time to line it up. It takes a deflection. Takes the sting out of it and into the gloves of Mershnik. He's been sharing the goalkeeping duties this season with Chelsea Ashurst. Confident keeping there. It's her 14th appearance of the season. Ashurst has played 15 times, so they rotate the goalkeepers. It's the Slovenian 21-year-old who gets the nod for this one. Rubano trying to release Pariuelo. She just got the wrong side of Paolo Romero, but Romero did just enough and out for a throw. But Barcelona will come again. Fernandez. Ramirez. Fernandez has time to line up the cross. Look out a teammate. The keeper elects to punch only as far as Claudia Pina. Denied the space and the time to get her shot away. Rubano from distance, that takes a deflection. And that's behind for a corner. They're appealing for handball. Oh, well, the officials have given a goal kick, I think. Initial viewing, it looked as if it took a deflection. Goal kick given. Oh, we're just struggling to see any of the ball. Barcelona retain possession, recycle possession, and come forward once again. Pariuelo, what a star she's been this season. Ingrid Enya. Picked up by Villamela. Pariuelo. Trying to weave her way through. Now Huelva with the possibility to try and launch something on the counter-attack. A rare foray forward for the visitors. Can they make it count? Ball in behind, Katia Cole comes and collects. That's a rare opportunity for the visitors to try and stamp a mark on the game. They turn defence into attack pretty quickly. Hardman was in behind, but she just couldn't bring it under control. 26-year-old from Sweden. Her only goal of the campaign came in the victory against Las Palmas back in October. At the other end, Sinigorcevic is in behind. Sinigorcevic pulls it across the face of goal. A shot from distance goes wide. Pina with the effort. with the first time effort just trying to wrap her right boot around the ball and bend it into that corner and it was comfortably watched by by Mersnick in the end Villamela Sinagorcevic finding the space this time. A first time ball in. Flicked on towards Pariuelo, who just can't quite get on the end of it at the far post. She will keep that alive, though. 
Already 14 goals to her name in all competitions, Selma Pariuelo. That's taken a wicked deflection. Huelva will come away with it. And they create something from it. It's a little bit of space here in the middle third. Fernandez. Chasey picks it up. Ramirez. Chasey's continued her run out wide. Off she goes, looking to do it all on her own. Ingrid Enye. Claudia Pina pulling the strings, looking to make things happen. Feeding it through for Pariuelo. Sinagorjevic is in the box. JC will keep it alive. free kick over zealous from the Brazilian fort has 11 goals to her name so far this season this was the chance for Salma Pariuelo I think that was an attempted cross trying to pick out Anna Maria Sinagorcevic who you could see busting a lung to get into the middle Forcing the save though from Mersnick. Space for Villamela. JC helps it on its way, looking for Sinagorcevic in behind, but that was well cut out. Perfectly timed tackle from Ojeda, Ojeda. Fernandez. Codina. Rabano. This is from deep. Sinagorcevic will pick up the loose ball. Ingrid Enye. Play on, according to the referee. Fernandez is down. And eventually stopped. It was Hannah Fernandez going down under the challenge from Bergland Albers Dotter. She's back to her feet though. 21 year old Hannah Fernandez made her Barcelona debut at the age of, the, age of 16. She was the second youngest to represent Barcelona. And they have a set piece. Left for Pariuelo, who goes for goal from distance, always rising. No threat. not in the match day squad this week. Rolfa as well, not named amongst the subs. Well, I think Welva would have taken this at the start of the match, 25 minutes gone. 
They've barely seen any of the ball, but Barcelona haven't created too many opportunities. At the other end, Alba could find themselves in behind on one occasion. Such a difficult place to come. He was the last manager to win here, though, in the league. So he knows how to do it. Fernandez. Rubano. Pariuela pulling out wide, plays the one two. Rubano gets the return. Can't get the ball into the box, or can she? She's still going. Corner kick given. Pariuela will get another opportunity. She can't get that one into the box either. An isolated figure up front. Fernandez. Gorjevic. Well, well they finished tenth last season. They were eight points above the drop zone. Come into this one 12, just one point above the relegation zone. And they are in behind. Paruela pulling away. The cross is fizzed across the face of goal, behind for a goal kick. That will go down as an opportunity. The ball over the top, the flag stayed down. She was onside. Paruela making a run into the middle. And that was really neither a cross nor a shot in the end from the Brazilian. Kick Barcelona. Well, Barcelona won the reverse fixture between these two sides back in January, 3 0. Mariana Caldente and a brace from Asasa Oshuala. Sina Gorchevich skips away from the challenge of Carusco. Gets the ball in, that's going to be flicked towards the keeper. Mersnick collects. Carrasco sliding in, Sinigorjevic getting away from her, getting the ball into the box as well. Sinigorjevic picking that one up, just trying to feed it through for Jason. Nadia Pino picks up the loose ball, well the tidy up. And yet, Villamela and Ramirez leave it for one another. Algus Dottir did a difficult job leaving that line for Puelva on her own. Number 
two from Iceland. The first goal of the season last time out in the uh, defeat at Madrid Club de Football. Cariuelo, Pina. Half an hour gone, still goalless in Catalonia. Ramirez once again finding the space. Guidenian can't pick out a teammate this time. He was an assistant for two and a half years, he was an analyst, fitness coach, and a coach at the youth level for the Catalan Football Federation. Sinigurcevic coming forward. Fizzed across the face of goal, there's no one there. It was a really dangerous ball in. No one had gambled. It's like defence against attack at the moment, like a training match. So far, the defence is standing firm. Picked up by Rabano, just overhitting it for Pariuelo, who has to scamper out wide. Ingridenje. Goes backwards. Fernandez. This is Ramirez, who has four to aim for. Fernandez's cross doesn't beat the first defender, and they'll come again. Enyen stands it up, looking for JC in behind. Now that's a pull back on the shirt of Albus Dot here, and that might be a yellow card. It is for Hannah Fernandez. booking of the match. Such a tough job leading that line on your own. Alves got it. Got there ahead of Fernandez and now she's walking a tightrope. picking up a point this weekend at home to Sevilla on Friday, 0-0. Has kept it tight at the bottom of Liga FA. One back by Pariuelo. Pina tries to pick up the loose ball but can't get there. Algus Dottier catches Villamela. And a free kick to Barcelona who are looking to try and take it quickly but Hardman is preventing her from doing so. Is Alves Dottier going to ground, conceding the initial free kick. Gorcevic. Marasco off the pitch and in some discomfort. Awfully. This was uh, Hardman just trying to prevent the free kick from being taken quickly a few moments ago, standing up to Ingrid Enyen.
10 minutes to go until half time. Huelva standing firm so far. Barcelona with 11 changes from the starting 11 that drew 1 1 against Chelsea in the Champions League semi final second leg. Barcelona, though, coming forward, trying to fashion this opportunity to try and break the deadlock. Ramirez. Enya. Ball's intercepted. Just not quite clicking for Barcelona at the moment. Sinagorcevic to Ramirez. Easily cut out by Cuelva. Given away though. What can Barcelona do this time? Sinagorcevic. Ramirez. Claudia Pina losing out. Huelva with too many options though. And Gudenien wins it back. And Rabano has the chance to switch play. Looking for Sinagorcevic. Easily intercepted by Carrasco. Huelva have a player down here. Referee stopped play. Well, 72,000 spectators watched the Champions League semi-final second leg, that 1-1 draw with Chelsea. Not quite a record, but fantastic attendance. Barcelona booking their place in the final in Eindhoven. Big win at Valencia a couple of weeks ago, well, but they've just got one win in their last 15 matches in all competitions. They are not in form, yet they are standing firm so far here against Barcelona. What can the home side do with this set-piece opportunity? Into the danger zone, hook goal, it's in, hooked in! And that is the opening goal for Barcelona. It comes from an unlikely source. Her first of the season, Laia Cadena puts Barcelona ahead. And they are heading for the Liga FA title. Seven minutes before half time. The goal comes from a set piece. The defender up from the back, finding the space and hooking it goalwards on the volley. Oh, it was a striker's finish from the defender. Perfect technique, superbly placed. Well, that might just settle a few nerves. That might just calm the Estadio Johan Cruyff and the spectators inside this arena who perhaps were getting a little bit restless. 38 minutes gone against a struggling side. Barcelona had just had one shot on target before that. But now they have the breakthrough. They have broken the deadlock. Villamela, Ramirez. I wonder if Barcelona will just relax and start to enjoy themselves now. Sinagorcevic. Ramirez. Ingrid Enye. Ramirez. 
Ramirez floats it in, comfortably collected. Apologies for the technical issues. A couple of minutes to go until half time in this one. Barcelona with 80% possession. They have a solitary goal to show for their endeavours in the first half. Will they be able to find a second before half time? Grudenian. Fernandez. She's on a booking. Ingrid Enyen coming deep, looking for the ball once again. Dina, the goal scorer. Arguello. And Barcelona double their advantage before half time. Ingrid Enyen. Across to Ramirez. Fernandez. seconds of additional time added on at the end of the first 45. It's Fernandez. Ayuelo, Rabano's continued her run forward. Here she is, her cross takes a deflection behind for a corner. One last chance before half time.
he comes. Headed down, could have done anywhere. Ping pong inside the penalty area. They cannot get it clear. Eventually they do, and the whistle goes. And that's going to be a free kick for Huelva. And it's the last action of the first half. Barcelona are doing just enough to be claimed champions this afternoon. They need a victory to secure the title. And at half time in this one against Huelva, they have the lead thanks to Laia Cadena's goal separating the two sides. A wonderful volley. Seven minutes before half time. As it stands, Barcelona will be Liga FA champions for the fourth season in a row. Can Cuelva find anything in the second half to turn this match around? Because at the break, it is Barcelona 1, Sporting Club Cuelva 0. I have an addiction with socks. I love socks. Um, yeah, super weird. So, I brought, first of all, my boots, because I have to play on them, super important. Next up, I think my family and friends are gonna laugh because I never read, but I brought a book. I like to read about athletes, their stories, and Michael Jordan is one of my favorite athletes in the world, so yeah. Uh, I brought my iPad, <laughs> that's super important for me, because I like to watch series, movies, Netflix, um, it's basically my hobby, so. Um, yeah, AirPods, uh, I love listening to music, uh, especially before a game. Right now, I really like Rush, that song, and it's one of my favorites at the moment, so I listen to it a lot. The memories we can create now, that's what we were dreaming about when we were kids. I'm very aware of how lucky I am. For the majority of my career, I've been playing and no one's even watched. If you give girls the opportunity to play, they will show up. All I wanted to do was play football. This season and this tournament kind of became that six-year-old that enjoyed playing football again. One day you step out and you play in front of 70,000 people. I'm a 100% winner. I hate losing. I worked so hard, I finally got here. We are now role models for a lot of young girls. Tough times can even make you or break you. It was tough, but it made me. This was the moment that Anthony Joshua became a major star. I was just shouting at him, like, come on, let's fight, where are you running? This is the uh, the passion of Dylan White. I thought there was going to be riots in the crowd. I really did. In the space of six years, he'd gone from being a raw novice to going in with one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. You're one shot away from from trouble or disaster at any point. You have to dig deep, and they're the type of fights that people remember for many years to come. You get this. Oh, you're the man, most Scottish really... person ever known yes. to come out of Scotland. Or you're a true Scot if you get 10 out of 10. What does crabbit mean? Like, you're moody. <laughs> yeah, moody. Do you want to sound more Scottish when you say that? For a, because I gave you so many clues, can you do Billy Colony's accent? No. <laughs> Dirty. 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 No, Kim. Oh, the woman. 2019. <laughs> <laughs> so buzzing. If so anyone doesn't know, Kim's the most competitive person in the full world. Subtly. Yeah. <laughs> what Scottish word, question number nine, derives from the medieval Latin word? 
Saltatoria. Saltar. What? Nosotros íbamos con policía para poder llegar al estadio. Women's teams have always been used to playing in, in the club's smaller stadiums. Playing at a Clásico in Camp Nou means everything. Most of these players are Barcelona fans. Fue increíble, la verdad. Alucinamos todas. A new chapter about to be written in the history of these two famous clubs. So Loza decides to go for the long way. se generan ambientes así es que tu cuerpo va solo. There it is, the confirmed attendance inside camp now, a world record. Once we had that confirmation, we just all started to, to cry. I do think this game changed women's football. I do believe it changed the perspective from all of us. I feel good. I'm nervous though. We're talking about my phone right now. Check, huh? The last text I sent. What if it's not appropriate? <laughs> Ooh. I say Wendy at times. Yeah, she can be funny. I think Wendy. She has those one liners that are really funny. <laughs> like that. Like my emoji. I'll open up my snap for you. See? Honestly, like I'm not big. I like watching TikTok, but I don't do TikTok. But me and Dan, we have like a celebration now because of a TikTok, but I can't show you it. I can't because it's for our next game. Like if we score a goal. Du hast dir die Antworten ausgedacht gerade, ne? Okay, diskutieren wir noch über die Kamera. Das ist im Endeffekt. Wie heißen die sozialen Aktivitäten, die in einem Skigebiet stattfinden, nachdem der Skitag beendet ist? après -Ski. Korrekt. Wie nennt man eine speziell für den Langlauf gepflegte Läupe? Läupe. Korrekt. Hast du gerade die Antwort nicht vorgegeben? Das steht da so. Gepflegte Läupe. Ich Läupe. Ich gut. Korrekt. Das war eine Fanfrage. Welches Schweizer Schmelzkäsegericht ist bei Skifahrern beliebt? Kann man auch mit Schokolade machen. Fondue. Korrekt. Wie nennt man es, wenn man rückwärts fährt, also mit den Skispitzen den Berg hinab? So nennt man was, um das Licht zu betätigen. Lichtschalter. Ja, ohne Licht. Schalter? Ja, Schalter ist korrekt. Now or never for Porto. It's a good save by Howard. It's been turned in by Costinha. Jelia, we need to this. Mourinho hat ja das System von Van Gaal komplett durchschaut, dekodiert und das Gegenmittel dafür gefunden. Es ist die beste Recordation possible, die ist, wenn du quasi das Papier des Mago hast, um zu sehen, dass etwas passiert ist, was passiert ist. Dizer alguma coisa que eu, que eu acho que nunca, que nunca disse. I have an addiction with socks. I love socks. Um, yeah. Super weird. So, I brought, first of all, my boots. Because I have to play on them. Super important. Next up, I think my family and friends are gonna laugh because I never read, but I brought a book. I like to read about athletes, their stories, and Michael Jordan is one of my favorite athletes in the world, so yeah. Uh, I brought my iPad. <laughs> That's super important for me because I like to watch series, movies, Netflix. Um, it's basically my hobby, so. Um, yeah, AirPods, 
Uh, I love listening to music, uh, especially before a game. Right now, I really like Rush, that song, and it's one of my favorites at the moment, so I listen to it a lot. The memories we can create now, that's what we were dreaming about when we were kids. I'm very aware of how lucky I am. For the majority of my career, I've been playing and no one's even watched. If you give girls the opportunity to play, they will show up. All I wanted to do was play football. This season and this time, I kind of became that six-year-old that enjoyed playing football again. One day you step out and you play in front of 70,000 people. I'm a 100% winner. I hate losing. I worked so hard, I finally got here. We are now role models for a lot of young girls. Tough times can even make you or break you. It was tough, but it made me. This was the moment that Anthony Joshua became a major star. I was just shouting at him, like, come on, let's fight, where are you running? And this is the, uh, the passion of Dylan White. I thought there was going to be riots in the crowd, I really did. In the space of six years, he'd gone from being a raw novice to going in with one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. You're one shot away from, from trouble or disaster at any point. You have to dig deep, and they're the type of fights that people remember for many years to come. All set for the second half then, Barcelona 45 minutes away from being officially crowned Liga FA champions. Amanda Ed Green coming on, the Swedish midfielder for 12 up. Ed Green, a half-time substitute for Antonio Toledo's side. Made her debut in Sweden as an 18 year old back in 2011. It will be the visitors, Huelva, who will get proceedings underway in this second half in their blue and white, attacking the goal away to our right hand side. Barcelona in their familiar home colours, attacking the goal away to our left. They are 45 minutes away from winning the title for a fourth year in a row. Laia Kadina's goal separating the two sides seven minutes before half-time. A striker's finish converting on the volley from a set-piece. Well, but 
offering very little as an attacking threat in the first 45 minutes. Their Liga FA status is under threat still. They need the points for completely different reasons. Sandra Castillo, who we saw in the picture a few moments ago, is making her 300th appearance for Huelva this afternoon. Sigurdjevic looking to strike early. Claudia Pina has the time and the space to find the bottom corner and she can't do so. Just hooking her shot wide. The first chance of the half goes the way of the home side. And Maria Sigurdjevic creating it. Claudia Pina, one touch, two touch. And then just dragging it wide. Another milestone actually today. And Antonio Toledo, the 65 year old manager of Huelva, is taking charge of his 500th game in the top flight. Achievement for him, and it would be an achievement for Huelva if they were to stay up this year. Rabano. Space over once again. It's uh, a lot of success coming down that right hand side for Barcelona so far in this contest. Sinagorcevic hooks it across the face of goal. Pariuelo commits a foul in her attempts to retrieve possession. They've won 35 of 37 matches in all competitions this season. Barcelona, Asasat Oshuala has scored 25 goals in 35 matches. The only completed defeat they suffered was at the hands of Bayern Munich in the Champions League group stages back in December. Knocked out of the Copa de la Reina, they were expelled from the competition after fielding an ineligible player. They won't be getting their hands on that particular trophy. JC goes for goal. The flag was up for offside. Very, very tight call, that one. Just as she pulled the trigger. She was off target anyway, but just as she pulled the trigger, the flag went up. for Barcelona is will we see Alexia Pateas in this second half ten months out injured and he's on the bench what a moment it would be if she does enter the field for the remainder of this match three matches starting uh, this one coming in for Patricia Balsajak Still not that comfortable for Barcelona. Well, they just need one set piece opportunity. One moment of either brilliance or madness. And they're right back in this contest. 
A reminder that Jean de Giraldez made 11 changes in his starting lineup. of the opening five minutes of this half identical to what we saw in the first 45 Barcelona with plenty of the ball well but trying to remain organized and disciplined Cariuelo twisting and turning looking to make things happen Claudio Pina with the chance to cross it's a lovely ball in the keeper comes and doesn't get there Chelsea beat her to the ball but was offside Well, throughout their history, this club have won seven top flight titles, nine Copa de la Reinas, and one UEFA Women's Champions League. Again, a couple of years ago in 2021, you sense that that has been the target. That is what they have had in their sights throughout most of this season. They have reached the final, and now they are just 40 minutes away from winning the league title as well. Bruno Villamera slaloming her way through. Sinagorcevic across the face of goal. That could have gone anywhere. It's gone behind for a corner. Ojeda putting it behind. Barcelona with another set-piece opportunity. They're looking to turn the screw at the start of the second half. Crowded six-yard area. Life is difficult for Zala Mershnik. Towards the penalty spot, looking for Sinigorcevic. Heading clear, but Barcelona will come again. Ramirez scampers over to keep it in. Adiatina. Fernandez with a chance to cross, it's a lovely ball in. And JC can't flick it goalwards, just off target. It's another half chance for the Brazilian. Fernandez found herself in an unusual position, the centre half with a chance to cross. She picked out JC, who couldn't pick out the top corner. Mershik strikes it long. The ball will come back though. Pariuelo picks it up. Claudia Pina. Here is Fernandez. Cabano. Long afternoon for Bergen Alves Dottir. She has not seen much of the ball leading that line for Huelva. Urbano, <laughs> first time cross. Summer arrival last season from Real Sociedad. And her first call up for Spain as well this season, making her debut earlier on in the campaign against Sweden. Yet to score for Barcelona. Now this 
Dot here trying to give chase. The flag goes up though belatedly for offside. Another tight call. Another wave of Barcelona attack. And it's uh, a rather panicked clearance. I think she had more time than she realised. Moreover puts it behind for a corner. Ten minutes into the second half. Claudia Pina, Pina the captain, goes over to take. and one of those lurking in anticipation of the set piece. Here it comes towards Sinigorcevic. Ayuelo can't bring it under control, but it's behind for another corner. They're notching up the uh, corner count now. And they make one of them count. This one from the training ground. Ayuelo goes for goal. Pudina. Pina. Just can't get their foot on the ball for the time being, well, uh, it's an identical pattern to the first 45, really. And just trying to keep the space tight and compact. Pariuelo trying to slalom her way through. Claudia Pina, and she get her shot away. It's all very compact, it's all very tight. 20 yards from goal. Well, uh, well drilled. They scored 159 goals last season, Barcelona, in winning all 30 of their Liga FA matches. So far this season, they've scored 105, so they are some way short of that, with four and a half matches still remaining. Ayuelo. Villamela is inside the area, Jace is there as well. Jace's header, harmlessly over the bar. It was a difficult one. Just behind her, drilled in at pace. This was the effort a few moments ago that was punched clear by Mersnik. Today, the day. She's warming up. The crowd certainly hopes so. They're calling out Alexia Pateas. Sinigorcevic gets the ball in. Enyen can't get her shot away. Hanging on again here with half an hour to go for Elba. Barcelona looking for the second goal that would surely knock the stuffing out of the visitors. Ayuelo with a heavy touch. Fore forward. Algus Dotter and Hardman trying to combine, but they just can't really get their foot on the ball.
Gravano. Sailing, sailing harmlessly wide. change with the leading scorer Asisa Oshuala being ready. Rabano. Arruela will give chase. She's unlikely to get there. She just about does enough to keep it in. She has two for company and she can't get away from either of them. Fernandez lines one up. Oh, how about that? What a way for Barcelona to double their advantage. Two goals, both from defenders. And they do not come better than that. From all of 30 yards, she let rip and it flew into the top corner. Well, that is surely that in terms of this match. Barcelona will be crown champions, and what a way to seal it. Sealed in style. An absolute bullet into the top corner. Nothing Mersnick could do about that one. It's her first goal of the season in only her fifth appearance, and Barcelona lead by two. Double change for Barcelona as well. And now they've got the bit between their teeth. They are marauding forward once again. Asisat Oshoala coming on to replace JC. Vicky Lopez has also ended proceedings. Oshoala. Pina. Urbano. Twenty-five minutes to go. Barcelona have the lead, and they have a firm grip now on a fourth Liga FA title. Vicky Lopez, some fancy footwork from the 16-year-old substitute. Simicovic pulling off to the right-hand side. Lopez teeing it up. The referee getting in the way. Medina oh, encouraged to shoot. Why not? T 
teeing up Claudia Pino. It's just behind her. Sinagorcevic. Well, it has been a long time coming. Barcelona heading for their 26th victory out of 26 matches in the league this season. There's been an air of inevitability about them winning the title. And it is now just 23 minutes away from being confirmed. Lopez finding the space, he's got plenty of time. Can't pick out a teammate. Calls Kanye though for Enyan who drills it over. She gets caught in the process. Double change now for the visitors. Barbara Lopez and Vanessa Santana coming on. I just got in makes way for the 17 year old Barbara Lopez. Vanessa Santana also coming on, 32. And the Argentinian was first capped by Argentina 12 years ago now. This is, of course, a, a young Barcelona side as well. Fernandez, Enyan, Rolfa, Paredes, Katia Cole, Claudia Pina, they've all signed new long-term deals this season. The club do have one eye on the future and building an empire, as it were. They are so dominant. They are the formidable force in Spanish women's football. They want to be the formidable force in European football, perhaps in the way that Lyon have been over the years. Barcelona the new team to beat in European competition. And the team to beat in Spanish competition, it's just that nobody can do so. minutes until it's confirmed. And every time Alexia Pateas goes to warm up, you can hear the roar of the crowd.
Urbana. The goal's coming either side of half time from the defenders, Cadena and Fernandez. Cariuelo into the corner. It's nearly time. Now she has got the entire length of the field to try and run to, into. She doesn't have too many options in support. That's a lovely ball across the face of goal, but Katia Cole gets there first. A blistering counter-attack by Quelva. We haven't seen that much in this second half. That has to go down as a half chance, a really decent opportunity. It was Barbara Lopez just trying to pick out. Her teammate just couldn't place that cross into the path of the on-running Sophia Hagman. Claudia Pina. Urbano. Lopez just playing in behind Oshuala and then confusion at the back for the visitors. Well, that put it out for a throw. It has been 10 months since Alexia Pateas was injured on international duty. Picking up an ACL injury. Her last appearance was for Spain against Italy. The captain, Claudia Pina, hands the handband, armband over to Alexia Pateas. She is an idol around these parts. A club legend returning to action. This is the moment supporters have been waiting for. It's good news for Spain as well, of course, ahead of the uh, World Cup. Oshuala, can she get it under control? Alexia Pates, first touch with the header, knocks it on. Rubano. Teas. Trying to find Ayuelo. She's got 15 minutes and just over to ease her way back into first team action. Gorchevich. Codina. Fellow goal scorer Hannah Fernandez. Lopez. Rabano, Pateas. Must feel so good for her to be back out there once again. An entire year almost, an entire season almost written off with ACL injury. 
she is back in a Barcelona shirt. Dispossessed. Mateas feeding Lopez, getting the return. Not quite. Rubano. Alexia Pateas. Oshuala offside. It doesn't look like there'll be a repeat of their 2019 victory for Antonio Toledo. The last time that Barcelona lost a home league match was to Huelva in February 2019. And heading for a 61 match winning run in the Spanish top flight. Ariuelo. Well, you sense it's party time now in Catalonia. 12 minutes to go. Barcelona, two goals to the good. Rubano. Alexia Pateas has returned to action. There is plenty to cheer for these Barcelona fans. It's only three days ago that they qualified for that Champions League final as well. What a great few days it is turning out to be for Barcelona. Here's one of the reasons. Alexia Pateas, we know what she can do. Oshuala trying to feed it through for Pateas. One of the stars of the future, and I was talking about this Barcelona squad. There's many bright years ahead of it, in a sense. Here's Rubano. Codina, whose goal six minutes before half time sent Barcelona on their way as we tick into the final ten minutes. Sina Gorcevic has Lopez to her left hand side. He's looking to go alone, away from three challenges, gets the ball in, takes a deflection behind for a corner. And let the party begin. Ariuelo with the corner. Back 
into the danger zone. Ramirez trying to get her shot away, off balance, sends it wide. Maria Ruiz coming on. Felver still have work to do if they are to guarantee survival this season. They've got Villarreal at home next. Play continues here, even though there's a couple of players down. Looks like a head injury as well. Felver are playing on. They've got options inside the penalty area for the first real time in this half, but they can't capitalise on the situation, and eventually the ball is put out of play. Dina taking a knock to the head, colliding with Castillo. So for Quelva, it's Villarreal at home, Alamo away, he has Planas at home. Those are the games that will decide their fate this season. Because of those three matches for Quelva that they have remaining all three of them are against sides below them in the table as we take a look at the spectacular goal the double Barcelona's advantage no wonder she's smiling so Quelva signed to defeat surely in this one but the story for today is not about them, it is about Barcelona. We bring on Marta Torrejon. And Patry as well. Patry. Marta Torreja. Lopez. Pateas. Salma Parayuelo with the slip. Quelva do anything to spoil the party. It looks unlikely.
fans in full voice. They have been since moment one. It hasn't been the greatest performance by this Barcelona side, but it won't matter. They had a job to do. And with three and a half minutes remaining, they are doing that job. And it will see them crowned champions once again. Strong challenge, fair one according to the referee. Mesa Santana, it was, going through the back of Patrick. This time the whistle does go. It's uh, Santana again involved. Pateas has made the run, Alexia Pateas, side netting, that's her first sighting of goal. Barcelona won this fixture 5-0 last season. They also won 6-1 here against Welver in the Copa del Arena. 11 goals in total here against Welver last season. Just the two today. But it will be enough. Dina. That's a sat Oshuala. Pokes it goalwards and pokes it in. That is a striker's finish right there. You are looking at the champions. Absolutely nothing can stop this formidable force. It was Fernandez. She's already scored a spectacular goal. Now she's got a wonderful assist as well. She went on a mazy run, slaloming through the defence. There was a little bit of luck, a great bit of improvisation. And then Asisat Oshuala toe-poking it into the bottom corner. The leading scorer gets her 26th of the campaign in all competitions. Oshuala. Three minutes of additional time at the end of the 90. Two still to be played. The rain has started to fall. It's also raining goals, perhaps. Barcelona trying to come forward once again.
Well, even the downpour will not dampen spirits. Parihuelo pulls it back. Lopez goes down. A fair challenge, according to the officials. Sliding in on the wet surf, it was always risky. Patrick. Just opens up. Lopez just trying to feed it through for Alexia Pateas. That would be the icing on the cake, wouldn't it? If Pateas was able to get in on the act. Teas across the face of goal. Looking for Asisado Shuala. Barcelona, brilliance. They are champions once again. An eighth title overall, a fourth in a row. They are the formidable force in Spanish women's football. Absolutely nobody can stop them. A perfect season last season and they are once again on course for another perfect campaign. It is 26 victories out of 26 Liga FA matches and nobody can catch them now. The rain is falling in Spain, but it will not dampen spirits. Alexia Pateas with her first appearance in 10 months. She got 15 minutes under her belt. A welcome sign for all those spectators who've enjoyed so many highs this season. Asisat Oshuala rounding things off in the final couple of minutes, poking the ball into the bottom corner. today was given to them by the defenders really like Kadina put them ahead six minutes before half time and then Hannah Fernandez scored an absolute belter to make it to Ashuala completed the scoring 3-0 the final score against Quelva they're still in trouble they have work to do in their final three matches, but it is all about Barcelona and the return of a club legend. And what a timely return as well. Just in time to see her side, the club she loves, the club she has done so much for, secure a fourth consecutive top flight title. the party you sense will go long into the evening. It has only just begun. It could be a perfect season for Barcelona once again.
Their last defeat in the league was against Atletico Madrid back in June 2021. 61 league victories in a row since then. Three more matches still to go. Three more match days still to go. Four for Barcelona. They've got Real Sociedad, Sevilla, Bilbao and Madrid Club de Football. They win all four. It will be back-to-back -back perfect seasons. Can anyone stop them domestically? The next stop for Jonathan Giraldez and his side is Eindhoven. Champions League final. That's the one they want. They've got this one in the bag. She didn't feature today, Matthew Leon. One titles with uh, Atletico Madrid. She won one with Atletico Madrid in 2017. This is her fifth title, Matthew Leon. Alexia Pateas getting her hands on her sixth, having won it with Barcelona in 2013, 14, 15. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and you can add twenty-three to the list as well. An acknowledgement of the supporters inside the Estadi Johan Cruyff. Capacity of 6,000 in this ground. Barely an empty seat for the match this afternoon. Those supporters knew what was coming. There was an air of inevitability about Barcelona being crowned champions. But it does not make the moment any less sweet when it arrives. Mariah Kadina getting her first goal of the season with a volley from inside the box. Tana Bon Mati, another one of those who didn't get off the bench today through the youth ranks at Barcelona. Product of La Masia. She scored in the UEFA Women's Champions League final in 2021. She's banged in 17 goals this season. This will mean a lot to her, having worked her way up through the ranks. And there's been real squad rotation as well from Jonathan Geraldes at times this season. He's had to with Barcelona going deep in the Champions League. Matches coming thick and fast. Of course, they were uh, knocked out or eliminated of the Copa del Arena for fielding an ineligible player. Means only two bits of silverware instead of the three they can get their hands on this season. Every single one of those players, every single one of those players in the squad has earned this moment in the spotlight. Feliz de por fin poder ayudar también al equipo desde dentro del campo. ¿Y cómo ha sido, cómo has sentido el Johan? Porque cuando te has levantado a calentar has hablado sobre su locura. No, a ver, a la afición aprovecho para agradecerle todo todos los partidos en, en los que me, me han ayudado, en, estando fuera en la grada, por supuesto, pero que en todos los partidos del minuto 11 se acordaran de mí. Al final hay momentos en la lesión que, que estás un poco baja de ánimos y venías aquí, que también costaba porque no podías ayudar al equipo de, de la forma que mejor se nos da, que es desde dentro del campo. 
y, y ellos me, me ayudaban y me animaban, ¿no? Entonces agradecer también a la afición, hoy por supuesto también, pero en general eh, toda la temporada, eh, no solo conmigo, que al final ha estado este tema de la lesión, sino creo que al equipo durante toda la temporada han estado ahí, todos los partidos, eh, en Champions también, y ahora pues eh, la liga ya, ya la tenemos en el bolsillo y, y queda el último objetivo. No, creo que no hacemos bien en oponérnoslo, ¿no? Eh, año tras año, pues los equipos también van modificando cosas en función de eso, pues nosotras también. Y, y creo que hemos conseguido eh, muchos más recursos eh, futbolísticos y, y creo que eso nos hace mejor equipo. A vosotros. Muchas gracias. Eh, estamos muy, muy, muy contentos por, por todo lo que hemos hecho, por, por el ambiente que hemos vivido. Eh, si podíamos pedirle algo a este, este título de liga era poder celebrarlo con nuestra afición. Estamos muy contentas porque lo hemos, eh, lo hemos conseguido. Creo que cerramos una semana redonda con la clasificación a la final de la Champions y ahora este título de liga creo que le da la guinda al pastel para cerrar esta semana. Sí, el otro día lo vimos muy precipitado por cómo estaba el partido, eh, no, no lo tenía muy claro y hoy, bueno, ayer ya hablando con ella sabía que entre el 70 y el 75 tendría la oportunidad de, de, de entrar, quería que entrase ella sola porque creo que se merece todo el apoyo que, que le ha brindado la, la afición y también ha entrado un momento donde el partido estaba más o menos encarrilado con ese 2-0, por lo tanto, el primer paso de romper el hielo ya lo tenemos, a partir de ahora, pues que siga ayudando al equipo para conseguir todos los objetivos. Y a la última, Jonathan, ¿cómo definirías este? Bueno, es un Barça que, que, que va por todas, que se levanta cada día con la intención de mejorar su versión individual de todas las jugadoras, a nivel colectivo igual, afrontamos cada partido con la intención de ganar, hoy hemos jugado 11 jugadoras diferentes a las que jugaron el otro día en el Camp Nou y creo que eso habla muy bien, no solo de las jugadoras, sino también de todo el staff que trabaja en el día a día para ayudarlas, ofrecer las mejores condiciones para que den su mejor versión y junto con la afición creo que somos un equipo muy difícil de batir. A vosotras, a vosotras. not quite the weather conditions everyone was hoping for but it is Barcelona who are crowned Liga FA champions the fans enduring the conditions to show their support to the victorious squad Alexia Pateas lifts the trophy. Barcelona, Liga FA Champions 2023.
Let's hear from Alexia Patex.
Bé, m'agradaria, primer de tot, reconèixer tota la feina de les jugadores i membres de l'estat. Avui hem jugat 11 jugadores diferents el dia del Camp Nou i crec que han tingut un rendiment molt molt alt. Estic molt orgullós de treballar amb totes elles, amb tot l'estat. Un bon aplaudiment, si us plau, per tots els representants. A vosaltres l'afició, moltíssimes gràcies, estem molt, molt agraïdes per tot el suport que ens doneu cada setmana aquí al Llofran, el que ens doneu també a l'Espotify Camp Nou i el que ens doneu també fora de casa. Quan viatgem, sentim el vostre suport. Un fort aplaudiment per vosaltres. Moltes gràcies. Moltes gràcies. Gràcies als teus companys de tota la Junta, gràcies pel vostre suport, estem molt agraïdes de tot l'esforç que esteu fent, que fa el seu moment per tots els altres. Per últim, sabeu que esteu convidats i convidades, tenim una cita pendent molt important, tenim moltes ganes de portar els campions cap a casa!
moments to cherish friends and family sharing this special moment for Barcelona. Conclusion of the domestic season. Well, they would love to win that trophy for a second time. Well, it has been another spectacular season for Barcelona. They are crowned champions for the eighth time 
overall. The fourth time in a row. They are the formidable force in Spanish football and they have cemented their reputation as the team to beat. Attention now turns all the Spanish champions to the UEFA Women's Champions League final. That comes up in June against Augsburg or Arsenal. For today though, the focus is on these trophy celebrations. Barcelona having won 26 out of their 26 league matches so far this season. They've scored 108 goals, they've only conceded five. They're the team to beat. Jonathan Geraldes and his side are champions once again. And that concludes our coverage of what has been another successful day for Barcelona. Just to remind you, they beat Huelva by three goals to nil. Like Adina, Hannah Fernandez and Asisat Oshuala on target. It was three points that secured them a fourth title. Barcelona, Liga FA Champions 2023. From myself, Paul Scott, and the entire team, thank you very much for watching.